Hey guys, welcome back to K-Pop Mania, where we bring you K-Pop stories. In the world of K-Pop, one name that shines as brightly as Tiffany Jewelry is none other than Blackpink's Rosé. With a voice that's as captivating as her stage presence, Rosé has carved her own unique path in the music industry. Born on February 11th, 1997, in New Zealand as Roseanne Park Che Young, she later moved to Australia, where her incredible journey began. Winning first place within only 14 days of their debut, Blackpink made it clear that they are no ordinary group. They've been getting huge amounts of love all around the world. Not only are they huge as a group, but the members are each massively successful with their solo activities. One of them is Rosé. Her name means pink in French. She represents pink in Blackpink's identity. With her light skin and well-proportioned slim body, she shows her fabulous, confident qualities on stage. But in real life, she sounds so cute, full of love, and cries very easily. Today, we're going to dive into Rosé's backstories, from her training days to her success as an idol, to receiving love from huge celebrities around the world, and more. But first, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Rosé was born in New Zealand and raised in Australia. She speaks both English and Korean fluently. Though she was born in New Zealand, her first language is Korean. Her parents and her big sister used Korean at home, so Rosé actually learned English a bit late. But when she entered kindergarten, she had no problem talking with her friends. Her mom was so surprised. Rosé's mom thought, we'd never taught her English. How is her English so good? But when Rosé's mom approached Rosé, she realized that Rosé was just mimicking the sounds that her friends were making. She was basically talking in her own language that nobody could understand. Instead of feeling sad about not being able to converse, Rosé just pretended to speak English. Isn't it so cute? This little kid who used to pretend to speak English later became a singer and sang her first solo song, On the Ground, in English. She thought each song had a specific language that sounded good. So in order to improve the quality of her title track, she thought hard about which language would sound the best for the song. She was worried if her fans would be disappointed, but she thought it was more important to present a high quality song. After making her debut, Rosé said she really wanted to meet Young Hyung Don, which made many people curious. It was because Young Hyung Don looked very similar to Rosé's dad. When Rosé finally met Young Hyung Don in person, she laughed heartily, saying she felt right at home, which embarrassed Young Hyung Don. Years ago, Rosé's dad saw Rosé's passion for music and asked Rosé, why don't you go to an audition? So Rosé participated in YG's global audition, where the odds of passing it were one in 700, and she passed it. But Rosé's sister later revealed the shocking truth. Before the audition, Rosé used to play the piano and sing every day and night, and it was so noisy, so Rosé's family had a meeting on the second floor to figure out how to stop Rosé, and it led to her dad suggesting to Rosé that she go to YG's audition. The story behind Rosé's debut is like that of a sitcom. Rosé's sister, who revealed this story, is famous for being beautiful and intelligent. Rosé's sister, Alice, has a slim, light-skinned face with big, pretty eyes. She has a beautiful squirrel-type face, like Rosé. She is four years older than Rosé and is a graduate of the Australian National University Department of Law. She is now a lawyer. After passing YG's audition, Rosé flew over to Korea and began training. Because she had to be so far away from her family at a young age, she used to cry a lot. Rosé learned how to dance for the first time after becoming a trainee. She learned the basics from Jenny, who had started training earlier. When learning certain dance moves for the first time, she thought, what am I doing? She even asked Jenny, Honey, I've never done this before. What is this? Initially, Rosé was so lost, but she improved her skills by watching Lisa, who danced so well. As a trainee with no income, she couldn't order delivery food often. So she would eat scrambled eggs with strawberry jam or boiled dumplings with oriental dressing on them. It sounds like an absurd combination now, but Rosé said it tasted so good back then. Not only that, Blackpink lived in a dorm where there were roaches and centipedes. Who would have known that Blackpink members, who are known as YG's princesses, used to live like this? As a trainee, Rosé was featured in G-Dragon's song, Without You. At the time, Rosé had just become a trainee. She had only sung for fun in Australia prior to becoming a trainee, so she didn't know what musical style she liked or what kind of singer she wanted to become. But after Without You, she began to realize what kind of singer she wanted to be and went through many changes. Rosé said that now, when she listens to Without You, she is amazed because her voice is so different in terms of its tone and vibe. 97-liner Rosé and 94-liner Hieri are not the same age, but they're very close friends. Hieri often looks after Rosé like a real sister, and she is the first one to notice it when Rosé is struggling. In fact, they're so close that Rosé sometimes cries her eyes out in front of Hieri as she pours her heart out. 
Rosé became Hieri's fan after watching Rosé finally got to meet Hieri, but Rosé was too nervous because Hieri was such a big sunbay. But then, Hieri first approached Rosé and gave her own number to her, and Rosé was so touched by it. Rosé later called Hieri to have a meal together, but Hieri kept paying for the meal, and Rosé felt bad. So one day, Rosé, with a determined face, told Hieri that she got something to say. She basically said, I think I'm going to continue to see you often, so from now on, let's split the bill when we have a meal. But Hieri's response was, I'll work harder to keep buying you meals, but thank you. I appreciate the sentiment. Hieri said that she was touched by Rosé's suggestion because there were times when Rosé paid for a meal too. So the two got really close and often hung out together. When they couldn't get together, they would have video chats. On Hieri's birthday, Rosé, who was in the middle of an international tour, texted Hieri to wish her a happy birthday. And suddenly, the doorbell at Hieri's house rang and a flower bouquet was delivered. It turned out to be a gift from Rosé. Hieri lived with her parents at the time, and Rosé had never been to Hieri's house. So how did Rosé know Hieri's address? Rosé actually remembered the social media account of Hieri's brother, which Hieri had shown Rosé previously. So, Rosé sent a long message to Hieri's brother, got Hieri's home address from him, and sent the gift to Hieri. Such a romantic surprise event, isn't it? Rosé is someone who often puts together sweet events like this. On her birthday, or on Christmas, she uploads her cover songs for her fans, and during her V live stream on her birthday, she played many artists' songs and tried to make her fans' wishes come true, in case her fans got bored. After making a successful debut, Rosé became a global star. She is now the global ambassador for Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent had actually contacted Rosé for a year and sent her gifts to have her be the ambassador, since she perfectly fit the brand's image. After Rosé became the ambassador, Saint Laurent's chief designer even sent her a gift personally and uploaded Rosé's photo on his own social media account, showing much love. Meanwhile, Tiffany and company sent gifts not only to Rosé, but also to her dog Hank, which showed just how much they adored Rosé. But did you know that Rosé, who is so massively loved, was openly searched for at one point? When Rosé hit 10 million followers on TikTok, she posted a video of herself twerking to Cardi B's WAP, as promised. Cardi B saw this video and wrote, looking for the WAPs. WAPs is a combination of WAP and Rosé. Cardi B shared Rosé's twerking video and wrote, she still looks so innocent, so cute. Originally, it's a very sexy dance move, but because of Rosé, who danced with a happy smile, it became a very wholesome, innocent WAP. Rosé, who is so lovable and full of love, is also very thoughtful. One day, a fan ran into Rosé on the street. The fan was so amazed and said hi, and Rosé thought it might be someone she personally knew, so she happily said hi back. Rosé grabbed the fan's hand and said, I'm terribly sorry, but where did we meet? And when she learned that it was a fan, she was a bit embarrassed. Also, Rosé said she often can't turn on live streams even when she wants to, because she is usually off work very late at night, so she feels bad for waking up her fans. She is so warm-hearted and thoughtful, isn't she? Rosé's first solo debut was so huge and successful that it even got a Guinness World Record. Rosé's MV for On The Ground set the record for the most YouTube views in 24 hours by a solo K-pop artist. On the first day of its release, the MV gained 41.6 million views, breaking the record set by PeaceWise Gangnam Style, which had remained number one for eight years. This has been Backstories of Rosé, who is unstoppable as a solo artist as well. Did you enjoy today's video? If so, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And if there is any K-pop star you want us to make a video about, request in the comment section. We'll try to bring you even more information about more entertainers. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.